take dramatic intro. Again. <laughs> okay. Gonna be continuing from the incredible progress we made last time, which was basically zero. We walked over to Bakula. Um, but what we did last time was loads and loads and loads of debug mode research into seeing how spells work, as well as general messing around with our builds just to see what we want to do. Um, and I kind of want to go over what we found out really quickly, because it's a uh, pretty significant. <laughs> okay, first off, um, I'm just gonna note that we uh, removed basically all of our equipment. I'm just gonna get the stuff removed. Okay. Um, when it comes to magic. So, the mana egg you use uh, will boost, for example, our Tempest egg here boosts wind uh, moves, but that, as far as I can tell, means only that the move will be casted quicker. Otherwise, it has no actual effect. It simply means it will be cast quicker. There's less of a delay between common act. Um, making mana eggs not uber important except for lessening that delay. Um, we also found out that such spells as uh, Dig In don't get affected by anything. Basically, a status effect like Dig In or Wow, uh, Attack Up, Down, etc will always, uh, it's always sort of like this binary state. You either have a uh, defense up or you don't. Um, actually, more accurately, you could describe it as you either have defense even up or down, and there's no difference uh, between who casts dig in to raise your defense. It will always be raised the same amount. And in actuality, we looked at the damage formulas for how that works, too. Basically, it just means that your individual defense points will, uh, as well as resilience... Hey, Headphones are being a pain. Dear God. Anyway, um, it basically just means that individual defense and resilience points will count for more. About 40% more than before, I think. Whatever, we haven't... I don't know how to say that. It's basically just making them count better. Um, yeah, so it's more effective on people who have high defense to begin with. Um, but yeah, that means that raising your uh, raising your stats will in no way improve Diggin or WoW or anything like that. We only tested Diggin, but I'm assuming WoW and stuff are similar. Um, yeah, so basically... Uh, uh, raising magic does not affect Diggin. Now, as for spells like Heal and Healer and all of those, they, uh, do get stronger as your stats go up, but it's not magic MAG here that increases the power of spells like Heal. Rather, it's Res Resilience. Um... Which is weird, because Resilience is a defensive stat. You usually think about it like that. It affects how much damage you take from magic moves, but it also affects the power of... Um, it apparently also affects the power of heal spells. So, we are not going to... We no longer... That basically means that we don't have any moves which are affected by the magic stat, because only offensive magic would be affected by that. So, we don't need to care about the magic stat. Not in Yuki, nor in our magic casters, uh, Alfina and Donna. Attack is the only stat that matters, as well as resilience, but resilience can only be raised by uh, armor not weapons. So when it comes to weapons, we're just gonna want to go for the highest attack. Or elemental things. Um, so Runeblade is, as far as we're concerned, useless. <laughs> we'll stick with the Mithril Sword, since that's the new one we bought here anyway. 
the Thunder Staff. Um, it's slightly worse than the Battle Rod, which has attack plus 54, but it has, uh, it's wind-based, which might be an interesting detail. Um, I want to keep it just for a while, mess around with it. I'm going to take a look at my bestiary real quick. Um, and see if they, uh, there are any wind... <laughs> any enemies weak to wind near where we're going. Um, let's see. As it turns out, giant crawfish are resistant to it. <laughs> um, let's see. You know, I mentioned I want to, like, show what elements are optimal for each area. Well, I haven't done that yet, but I still do want to. Okay, there are very few enemies which care about wind at all, and as it turns out, only a couple enemies are weak to wind. Uh, those are things like Fishman and Boat Swallow. Um, and those enemies we will not be fighting. Uh, also, Blood Demon, apparently. Um, but yeah, we're not going to be fighting any of those guys. So, Battle Rod is actually better for her. Um, yeah. Okay, uh, see how this is Def plus 36, Res plus 36? Res plus 36 is what gives her the advantage in spellcasting things. If we can boost that Res at all, we should, because that will make her healing better. Um, likewise, you know how we bought this magic ring to test out magic stats? Well, as we found, magic isn't useful to us, but resilience is, and there is a ring called the Mental Ring, which we can get to boost resilience. Um, I have the math here somewhere. Where is it? Do your three, uh, do your three math. Magic? Magic. Um, the formulas for heal, all heal, and healer are basically, uh, uh, heal and healer, uh, have a... <laughs> the formulas in general are... I'm leaving Macula. <laughs> I can't speak over that music. Okay, um, the formulas, I'll just get them on screen for a second here real quick. The formula's inclusion for the stuff are like this. Um, we're looking at slightly different bases. Um, it's basically just a multiplier times your resilience. MGR is resilience. Um, healer and all healer, presumably, are considerably better in that your resilience is going to be more useful in them, whereas in these, it's not as important. Um, but yeah. At a resilience of uh, 126, we're going to be getting a fair boost to things like all heal. Um, yeah, so that's why we heal a decent amount. Um, and if we bought here, if we want, if we bought the mental ring, which boosts your resilience by 10, then on average we would be healing 14 or 15. Uh, more per cast, and here we'd be healing, like, 30 more. Um, so that's essentially how that stat works. Um, yeah. I wish my headphones were less of a pain. I do not know why they have been annoying lately. It's like they... I messed up the wire a while ago, and it would play in mono, which is fine, like, through one ear, Except, sometimes it plays through the other ear as well, and it's a pain. Not very good. Um, it's not noticeable in the recording as far as I know, but yeah. Um, so I wanted to go here and check out the stuff. So here's Death Plus 20, but it drops resilience by 8. So, you know. Um, likewise, the mental ring here boosts resilience. So I'd like to grab that. For the heck of it, it's a reasonably useful thing. These are around, and we can just kind of screw around and have them whenever. Um, yeah, let's see. 
Sun cards boost her attack by 20. What does she have equipped right now? She has magic cards, not sleep cards. She should have sleep cards. Um, and in that case, they are no longer better. Cool. So sleep cards could pretty reasonably be a useful weapon all through the game until we start getting better attack, but that'll be a while. Anyway, um, with that in mind, we'll check out the skill shop. Because we haven't really been here yet. Hello, young community here. Glad to see you're safe. How brave you to go on such a perilous journey as a young lady. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, I removed everyone's skills. Um, Guru's Way is still useful, though, because it boosts magic and resilience. Um, so it helps with casting magic. Um, and would go well on Alfina, of course. Uh, we have two of those, so, you know. It's only important on people who are going to be doing healing. Um, uh, as well as, I guess, for the magic being resilience as defense. Um, we'll go with this. Um, I want to give this to Donna. Um, because I think I'm going to give Donna the egg, which boosts wind with fire secondary. The photon egg here. Because it means that any uh, wind boost will be casted considerably quicker. Um, so magic. Let's put these on Donna, because she has the MP to use them well. Um, we don't really need all heal. You need the, uh, quick egg, or gravity egg, I guess it's called. Gravity egg. You could really just do with everything. <laughs> uh, but for now, let's just go with this. And you can just have whatever, really. I don't have super big plans to use Yuki as a magic user anymore. Um... The main thing I want to do, I guess, before really messing around with skills, is check out what new skills we can get. So first off, buy skills and see what's here. Guru's Way, it's cheap. As well as Warrior's Way, uh, which could well be handy, I'd like to get. I'll get three of these since they're really cheap. So we can have a full four. Likewise for this. Uh, Water Mastery and Wind Mastery are both available, that is pretty handy. Please reduce the MP cost of wind spells. Um, I definitely want to put wind mastery on Donna because wind moves take a lot of MP. Um, yeah, we'll see. We might want to mess around with her a bit. Endurance negates damage for minor attacks. Well, it's a thing you can get. Um. I'm not sure how outrageously useful it is, because I don't think we can just all together... I think moves still do considerable damage to us. I'll... It's skill level 2. Um... We'll see. Perception increase armor. Uh, I might... get it and consider giving it to... I'll grab a couple of these and consider spreading them out, but we'll see. Perception increases dodge rate. This is just a good move for everyone as a skill level 1. Um, counter is also good. Demon Hunter plus damage to demons and undead. We're not going to be fighting any demons and undead enemies for a while. But when we are, it will be handy to have these. And Warrior's Way, of course. Now, we got new books. First off, Scout Book. This is no longer equipped and it extracts Berserker. We want Berserker! I'm gonna extract this, but I want to quickly check the other books first. Revenge, whatever. Meditation and Item Mastery. Guardian books for Sharp Eyes and Super Reflex. Sharp Eyes attacks earlier when combat starts, Super Reflexes, guards against enemy attacks, it's handy. Um, Bishop Book gets you Prayer and Mighty Guard. Decreases damage when guarding, so I guess it's a better guard. Worth considering. Um, prayer is also handy. It means we don't have to buy it. And I'm not sure we can buy it anymore. Um, it's, a uh, restores HP when user guards. We have a prayer already, but yeah. 
Way of Speed. This is a good one. It boosts your initiative and move. Um, which basically makes you go around the IP gauge faster and get to your enemies quicker. Uh, reduces MP cost of fire spells. Well, that's a thing, too. Um, Paladin Mook. With mastering an unshakable will. We have two of these. Uh, IP gauge not delayed when hit. Oh, it's handy. Mm, that's it. Okay. So we... Are people calling me? I'm recording! <laughs> what? What? I hope you're enjoying the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, drop a comment down below. Enjoy. Anyway, that's how I get to work. Click the button. Okay. <laughs> skill level is 10. I didn't even know it was a god so high. Dang. Okay, we do on Berserker. It is important, good, and tasty. Okay, cool. Set up skills. Yuki, you need Berserker. It's important. You also need Tech 3. It's important. Which is a Tech 3 book. Oh god. I don't think we have a Tech 3 book. Uh, I'm so confused. I thought we did. Does someone else have a Tech 3 book equipped? I know you do. Damn. I'm not sure we have a Tech 3 book. Oh well. Sparrow. We'll get one eventually. Whatever. Um, in the meanwhile... Uh, oops. Paladin book is probably good. For those improved body... Um, primarily because it means that Yuki can get very strong warrior's way and life up if we want. It's like cheap. Um, Yuki's life, as is, is uh, his hit points is 1135. 1100. With this, it is 1350. So that's like 250 boost. Pretty good. It is cheap as well. We'll see. Um, passive defense, brute strength. Brute strength is very good, um, especially with Flash because he really keeps enemies delayed. So let's consider that. Um, passive defense reduces IP damage. Worth considering. Reflect is whatever. And fighting spirit is SP regeneration. We don't need that because we don't use SP moves significantly. Um, jolt counter, tasty. Perception, good. Encounter, good. I'd say that's fine. Um, let's see. I just definitely want counter because flash is important. Um, and I'll probably get. I don't know. Well, perception. I don't know if perception matters. I'll save life up for someone else, whatever. Okay. How about you? What have you got going on here? You have two mind and three body. Um, I have had passive defense on Alfina for a while, and it's good on her. Life up is also cheap and good. Um, Where's way is worth considering. Absorb magic is cheap. Water mastery, potentially good. Um, prayer I've had on her for a while. Um, and it's good, but she doesn't spend a lot of time defending, so I'll probably not get that. Um, just in favor of saving those three thoughts for other things. That said, what would we put there? Where's way? Reflect. Fighting spirit. Increases SP regeneration. Reflects back 10% of damage. Um, negates damage for minor attacks. Water mastery. Um... Water Mastery is worth considering. Um, I kind of want to try Endurance. Do we have a book that goes the other way around? Body 3, Mind 2? Yeah, we do. There, I'd rather have those swatch like that. Good stuff. Uh, what about Ulf? Well, Ulf needs a Berserker, obviously. 
Um, and he gets all these tasty things. Let's see. What do we want for him? Counter and jolt counter. And probably just more tech, tech stuff, because, yeah. Um... Let's see. Yeah, none of these are really important. Perception is good. Warrior's Way is good. Lizard Hunter is whatever for now. Um, yeah. What books do you have? You got Tech 3 Body 1. This is the only Tech 3 book we have. Um, since I'd rather stick with Tech 3 than, uh, sacrifice it for Body 3. Um, yeah. That said, what's Ulf's current attack? Out of curiosity's sake. 169. With this, it is 179. Yeah. We can get the same from just equipping a power ring. Um, which we don't own. Whatever. Cool. Um, anything else we want to extract? We have Unshakable Will. We can get another of those. We can get Wave Speed, but then we don't have Tech 3 anymore. And I'm pretty sure we can buy Wave Speed at a later town. Much later, admittedly, but still. Um, we can get Mighty Guard, but then we don't have a book for her. We can get Super Reflexes. Super Reflexes is nice. How expensive is it? It's skill level 3. Is this for Stores MP? Yeah. This is honestly good, and I would rather sacrifice the old book for this. Ta da! Restores MP when user guards. Pretty neat. Um. Yeah. And these are whatever. We should probably extract them, just for the sake of getting rid of the <laughs> uh, weak books. Since we're obviously never going to use them for anything else. Ta-da! I'd rather have more of a selection of skills than crappy books. Uh, Mine 3 is cool, but we have other things that are uh, more diverse. Cool. Same with this. Geez, two revenges? Like, we can sell revenge. How much does revenge sell for? Okay, whatever. Alright. Now they're all equipped. Admittedly, we have these spares. But I'd rather keep them for now. Um, except this. This is a crappy book. And admittedly, it's a good crappy book, but we already have a spare of this that's... We already have this. We have a spare, so we may as well extract from that one. Neat stuff. Alright. Now, I'm not gonna sell them, but I'm curious how much revenge sells for. Excuse me? <laughs> Hello? Revenge sells for 400 gold. Dang. Actually, bad lines are more effective. That's pretty cool. It has merit, eventually. Do we have bombs? No. Okay, I meant to buy power rings. Attack plus 11. I guess these guys have attack up, so yeah, that's fair enough. Let's get those. 
You don't have anything equipped, you may as well get this. What about you? You can get the mental ring for your boosted resilience. Um, you can get something for I and I. You can resist elemental damage. Um, <laughs> you can get auto revived. Um, yeah, I'll probably sell that res plus five. Be equip because it doesn't matter. Where is it? Where's the protective charm? Where is the protective charm? Up here! Okay. Um, let's keep Yugi's badge since <laughs> selling that would just be sad. <laughs> Even though it's a pretty bad uh, equip. Um, uh, yeah. Okay, cool. I'm not gonna bother with selling any of this equipment since I like keeping everything. Um, we'll see. <laughs> Sells for a lot. Yeah, okay. And I don't think they we wanted to buy anything else here. There's like the equipment which boosts things a little bit, so there are options, but nah. I might get Silver Thread Robe for uh, Donna just because of the boosted Death and Res. Do you want to sell this generic equip? Yeah. Whatever. Whatever. Let's sell the crap equipment. Keep just the interesting things. I'm still going to keep a Rune Blade. <laughs> even though it's not useful. Sentimental value. Whatever. Effect Paralysis. Water-based. It's just a staff. Nothing. Nothing. Use weapon cure poison paralysis. Well, why not? Use weapon cause water damage. Well, no, but it's water based, so. Attack plus 36. Magic plus 30. No, we have this. It is better, and this does nothing. Okay, cool. Harpoon! Bye. At that rate, should we get rid of the basic, uh, crap weapons? Like, shock wrench, silver wrench, fuck, silver wrench. Um, no, let's keep it. Why not? Whatever. Um, but these we don't need. <laughs> Magic cards. <laughs> Meh, we'll get better cards eventually. Leather armor, plate mail, dragon armor, warrior mail. Technically better for Yuki, but we really don't need it. Silver armor, no thank you. So close, no thank you. Cotton deployment, no thank you. Tattered jacket. This is, I guess, fucking Alonzo's, maybe? Miranda's? Traveler's boost. Initiative plus one. Move plus one. No. Move plus twelve. Wing boots, move 18. See, these ones are okay. Let's keep them around in case anyone really needs them. Um, which people don't? Yeah, we'll get better boots soon anyway. Magic pumps, whatever. We have better initiative boots for both of them, so. Ta-da! Magic pendant, it's magic plus five. We don't need magic plus five. We have magic rings now. Cool. I'm never going to use revival gems, and I don't want them. <laughs> um, 
And revenge, we'll never use them. Everything else looks good. Cool, let's call it. Awesome. What is your deal? So glad you're back, Donna. I sold our village treasures, but I can do it to keep up with these changing times. This store has been blessed by Yote. It's a holy place. So I can't lose business at that supermarket. I believe in you. And also you won't during the duration of this game anyway. Okay. Cool, that means we're finally done, uh... Did we equip you with anything? Yes, but we didn't fully equip you. Let's get your last couple skills equipped, whatever those are. And then we'll be done! We can, like, fucking keep going on adventure. What do you want? Um, Warrior's Way, life up. Yeah, probably. <laughs> They're just good. There's no two ways about it. Um... Draw magic, I guess. Need two things? Water mastery? Nah. Whatever. Absorb magic, go ahead. Actually, uh, let's get Rose up. Just for the, uh, defense. Okay. What do our stats look like? 170, 149, 180, 144. Not too shabby. 73, 90, 64, 105. Magic doesn't matter. Resilience! 97, 152, 60, and 114. 152, that's good because she's our healer. Um, initiative, 58, 60, 64, 55. Could be worse. <laughs> Move is crap, but it doesn't matter. Um... Yeah. Honestly, I could probably put these on, uh... Alfina. Just for the better getting around. But she has fairy pumps with her initiative plus 12, and that's pretty darn good. So let's stick with this. Meanwhile, we have no options for armor. <laughs> or shoes. Uh, pretty good stuff. Likewise for the use. So yeah, we have a uh, well sorted out inventory. Cools. Let's check this place out. Hi. Hello there. Hot one, isn't it? Let's see. You've got four people, so that's four ice cold mugs, right? No, we're fine. We can come here as a drink. Oh yeah. Well, we've got soda pop and milk too, if you're interested. No, thank you. A family of three should be living in this tent. What are you people doing here? What are we doing? It's called the work. The committee decided a supermarket should be built here. Committee? Supermarket? What did really do this time? Hmm? Were you sick in bed with a gold or something? Everyone on the committee voted for a supermarket. Now that the lady's gone, things must be hard for General Rulia. Maybe I should take her a little gift to cheer her up later. That lady? How peculiar. Hello. Hello? Hi there! Hot today, isn't it? I'd like to ask you something. Did Rulia permit you to do business here? And why Bacula, of all places? Um, I'm not sure about that. Our manager deals with those kinds of questions. He's at the drink booth on the other side. Anyway, would you like a crepe? Today's special flavor is fire and ice! Cold ice cream sprinkled with red-hot peppers. It's our midsummer special. Hey, that sounds pretty wild. Why don't we all have one? Eat as many as you like when you're alone. Right now we have to go see Virilia. Please understand, Ulf. Please don't leave. You're the only customer who managed to get past that man's watchful eye. That man. I think that man is scaring off customers by keeping watch. Psychic powers make him disappear. Didn't work. <laughs> They're selling bizarre foods to our children in that ugly tent, Donna. What do you think of that? 
I'm wondering what happened here. Where is the family who used to be living in this tent? The family moved in with their relatives. It was decided by means of committee vote. They had no choice, you know. Vote? What's happening around here? I sense an elaborate conspiracy is at hand, Donna. Bacula is going to be taken over soon. That's ridiculous. I'm not positive, but just look at those mysterious crates. They smell dangerous to me. It could very well be the end. Those evil crepes! Their magical smell will draw in poor, unsuspecting children like prey! I better keep watch here. That crepe was yummy! I want another one, but that man standing there is making things hard for me. Crepe? What is that? Oh, hi, Donna! <laughs> Don't know what a crepe is? They're selling them on the side of that tent over there! Crepes are sweet and yummy! I'm hooked for life! I like crepes, too. I hope I can eat some if we have time. But that man keeps getting in the way, so you might not be able to get any. I was just eating a crepe one day, minding my own business, and when he saw me, he came and lectured me for half a day. <laughs> Dang. Brutal. <laughs> well, let's check it out. Hello. How did you manage... Th how did you track me to... Oh, excuse me. My mind was wandering a bit. Thank you for shopping at Le Grand Marche Super Chevalier de Vianza. What? Could that be the name of the supermarket? Oui, oui. We have... Tr I not can't do a French accent. We have traveled the world, stopping here in Bacula Settlement, to bring you this all-purpose shopping center. I am Jean Rial, General Manager of Le Grand Marche Super Chevalier de Vianza. Yuki, doesn't this person's mask look familiar to you? Now that you mention it... You're clearly imagining things. But you, Yuki, my mask is really quite common around these parts. How did you know my name? Damn you, kid! Uh, actually, I, uh... The young lady there referred to you as Yuki, so naturally I... <sighs> that was too close. Oh, I was just thinking about something else. It has nothing to do with you. Dude, if you want to fucking... Start up a supermarket business, I'm not gonna get in your way. I don't care that you did casino work before for this shitty lady who was terrible to y'all. Whatever. <laughs> Hello, come take a look. This is the only place in the desert you'll find accessories for sale. That's true. What made you come all the way out to Bacula to start a shop? To make a long story short, this village was calling out to me. Calling out to you? That's right. And the necklace in this box is calling out to you. It's saying, buy me, make me yours, darling. I'm afraid that necklace will have to find someone else. You need some nice accessories to go with your fashionable clothing. You'll feel like new for the new era. <laughs> hmm... All these clothes seem too tight in the waist for me. People in the city must have slim figures. It has nothing to do with living in the city. Look at Donna, she could wear those clothes with no problem. But that, my bushy-tailed little friend, is because Donna is our chief. A female chief is special and has a slim figure. That has nothing to do with it. What about Rulia? She hasn't been chief for that long and her figure hasn't changed. Well, if Rulia is a dancer, of course she has a slim figure. What's going on here? Seems like the excuses never end. Now this is a pretty dress, but for a woman like me, born and raised in Bacula, the waist is much too tight. Hmm.
Welcome to my deli! I've got food from around the world that no one in this village has tried! How about some cream stew? Cream stew? That sounds delicious! I even put mushrooms in it! I'm sure there aren't any mushrooms growing in this desert! It's a fresh new flavor! I've been working hard, but... People of the desert are pretty shy. The only ones brave enough to buy from me have been middle-aged women. <laughs> it seems like pretty ape. It seems like middle-aged women are pretty gutsy no matter where you go. Well, at least I've got customers. I've got to get all the middle-aged women in here as my base customers. Yeah. Welcome to my deli. I've got I I've got food from around the world that no one in this village has tried. Don't be bashful, have a taste. Jeez. It's a piano, it's a keyboard. It's an organ? Wow. This is cool. Blues! Today is Blues Day, friends! How about it? Buy a nice blues harp for half price. What is that? Some kind of musical instrument? That's right, my furry friend. Gotta blow with all you've got. Cause next up is rock, baby! Rock, save us! I don't get it. The lady was a true rock and roar, but when she left, I had to play the blues. Don't you think that's appropriate? <laughs> At this rate, the supermarket might as well close down. Macula doesn't need one anyway. What about the music shop, clothing store, and delicious foods? Don't you think it's fun having them close by? We only need the clothes on our backs to get by, and we already have our traditional music instruments. I see. But don't you think it would be fun to wear new clothes or play instruments you've never seen before? Even you, a communicator, have fallen prey to the pleasures of this world. Our people must fulfill missions, nothing more. But... You're right. I apologize for my shallow thinking. Don't let him bother you, Alfina. Communicator or not, you have every right to feel that way. All we need are the missions given to us by the Guardian. <laughs> Shops like this should just shut down and go away. Pretty cute. <laughs> Back to the settlement. Go outside. Hello. Whoa. Oh, this is the chief's tent. We're gonna go there soon, but... That strange building, the odd collars on our chief's tent... Oh, mighty yote. What has become of our settlement? Really is tense. I don't suppose she's here? No. Hello, Auntie. Have you seen Rurelia? I bel- <laughs> I believe she's in the chief's tent. If not, she's probably shopping at the supermarket. Supermarket? It's a big, handy shop where you can buy clothes, food, and all sorts of interesting things. I saw quite a few when I was living in the city ten years ago, but I never would have thought there'd be one here in Bacula. So we really allowed them to build that supermarket? I wouldn't quite put it that way. That woman... <laughs> I better let you hear the details from Relia herself. <laughs> Relia should be in the chief's tent. I'd better let her explain the details. Sure thing, Andy. Where is... what's your name? Over here. Hello. What do you think of this place? Donna, you're back! I have to warn you, go into that tent and you'll be sold off to a foreign country. Excuse me? Someone just went in there and he never came back out. He must have been captured. I guess we should have voted for a casino instead of this seedy supermarket here. 
A supermarket is just a normal place to shop. There's nothing wrong with it. I'd like to believe that, but whoever goes through that evil pitch black entrance never comes back out. I think they're only shopping in there. My husband told me that people are probably being abducted in that tent. You better be careful in there. <laughs> oh dear. No, oh, thank you. Okay, I think we've been everywhere then. Except maybe the, uh... Places south and down here. Anyone down here? So hot! <laughs> that statue looks like it's enjoying a nice cool dip in the lake. <laughs> Sorry, Elf. <laughs> My condolences. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to check out that. Uh, the, uh. Thanks with all the animals, they're cute. Moo! <laughs> Kaboo! Hey Donna, this animal's got gear on it. Do people actually ride these? That'd be pretty pointless. What a rude thing to say. Since ancient times, our people have ridden tonkles on their journeys to steal distortions. Boo! You want me to ride you, fella? I'll give it a try. It does seem pretty pointless, though. Gmoo! Yeah! Ow! That thing just threw me off! Tonkles are often referred to as Yod's disciples. They are very prideful animals and refuse to let rude people ride them. Boo! Oh, great and mighty Tonkle! You're quite handsome, well built, and have beautiful fur! There, that should do it! I'll just take a little ride. Boo! Ow! That looks painful, Ulf! Are you okay? Ugh! I take it they're not suckers for flattery. Ooh. <laughs> I hate to admit it, but Tonkles have just about as much pride as Shiva does. Now I know why they're called Yob's Disciples. Moo. <laughs> Moo. Amazing. I love it. It's like s stupid, tiny, fun things like that that make the story, adventure town aspect of this game really fun. There's only a few towns in the game at all, but they change at various story events, really. And they're pretty fun to explore and check out and see all the... They're, they're packed with details of little story things like that. A calm night, the full moon reflecting off the lake, Tonkles walking at the lake's edge and a pretty girl by my side. If I could only reach that moment, then top it off by strumming away on the guitar being sold in that tent. Killer. Playing a guitar in the desert probably makes a great echo. That's a nice dream. I love the guitar. Gotta save up enough money first, though. <laughs> That's the truth. I used to chop wood and do other odd jobs to save up for my airplane parts. But earning the money and working towards the goal is actually half the fun. Really? My entire life here I never really had a need for money before. I'm not sure how to go about it. Well, all I can do is try my best, save up enough money, and buy that guitar. Just watch. See? Yeah. I don't know. They know that these characters have a history. And that's something really nice. Look at laundry. Oh yeah. Do it. Look at the laundry. Hey! This laundry is as dry as a bone! If it stays up here too long, it'll probably just get all sandy again. Beautiful. Cool. Eh, 
is undeniably a neat place. Undergoing a lot of change. Oh well. Even the chief's tent has changed. I don't know what to say. What happened while we were away? I'm terribly sorry about this. The chief's tent was changed into this mess. By me. I must apologize again for that gouty sign in front of the village entrance is also my doing. I knew it was wrong. I am appalled. How could you, the chief's guard, entrusted with the duty of protecting Bakula? It's just that... I was following Chief Aurelia's orders as a part of the revolution. Revolution? What are you talking about? Chief Aurelia said she was going to revolutionize Bakula, so that's why we... That girl is too much. I'm starting to get a headache. Please go inside and discuss it with Chief Aurelia. She can explain her ideas to you. Here goes. Hi. Virilia! Donna! I'm so glad you made it back safely. Thank you. And I'm glad to see that you're looking as well as ever. So tell me all about it. What happened on your journey? Well... A lot of things. Truly, so many things. <laughs> really? So there is a communicator in that world, too? Ruilia, we need you to tell us about that guardian you once saw. It could v have very well been Saba, that guardian whom Hex spoke of. Well, actually, I only heard a voice, but where did you hear it? A place called Vagus Jungle. It's pretty far south of here. Vagus Jungle. Anyway, you're staying here tonight, aren't you? I'll make you all some delicious... Hold it! Hold it! <laughs> Sorry, but uh, we've already made plans to stay at the Desert Inn. Oh my god. I wonder if this would happen differently if I hadn't stayed there. If I hadn't checked them out. Whoops. Uh, oh damn. I just realized that I've had this on whole desktop and not PCSXT for a while. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, but uh, we've already made plans to stay at the Desert Inn. Let's move people. Before those juicy kebabs get cold. <laughs> but why? Isn't that a little rude? I think you should all stay here tonight. No can do. I came back to this village to eat those juicy kebabs at the inn. I seriously wonder what would happen. What would Raven think if he saw what Bacula has become? Because some of the cutscene is going to be based on all having eaten that. It could be that he always says that they're getting back there anyway. But we'll see. <laughs> I guess we won't see. It's a mystery. It is a mystery. Ghost.ug. Sorry. <laughs> see ya. Let's scoot. How did it go with Chief Aurelia? I am afraid to say this, but it seems she has completely lost her mind. Well, things should be alright. She just got a bit carried away. I see. Well, if you say so, Chief Donna. An errand boy just stopped by to inform me that dinner has been prepared for you at the inn. Please go there to eat. Yeah, yeah, we will. I just want to go and look around and see if the dialogue's changed at all. Come on, I want another crepe. I wish that man would hurry up and leave. 
It sounds like you love crepes. Are they really that delicious? It's a taste never before tasted in Bacula. Oh, I can't think about anything else. Crepes, 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 yummy, yummy crepes. I want more, more, more. If you're that addicted to crepes, I think maybe you're forgetting about the important things in life. So calm down. If I could only have another crepe, then I'll remember the important things. I'm hungry. Crepes, crepes, crepes. I want a crepe right now. I've got to have at least one. I can't stand this anymore. Crepes, crepes, crepes. That wicked smell gets stronger as I approach them. Evil crepes, what is the source of your alluring power? I know what it is. Flour, sugar, cream, strawberries, and a variety of toppings. What? Do they intend to mislead the public by using harmless ingredients as a cover-up? I smell a conspiracy. I have to keep a sharp eye out. If any more people are sacrificed, Bacula is finished. It's only a snack. Why do you have to keep an eye on people? A child has eaten them. Since then, she's been in a delirious state day and night, saying how badly she needs crepes. Well, all children love crepes. I think they're delicious, too. I knew it! It's a foreign conspiracy to lure our children away from us! This is just the beginning! <laughs> As I expected, there's nothing left to do but fight! I must put an end to that wicked crepe business! Okay. Jeez. Whew. It's so hot out here! I'm getting fed up with this job! It must be hard working under this hot sun all day! Actually, I can tolerate the heat. What's frustrating is that no customers are coming. That man is just standing there and watching like a hawk. He's making sure no children come to eat. Awful, isn't it? It can't be helped. He feels he must protect our children from any new or unknown threats. He's a typical Baculani in that regard. But that means the man is a threat to the shop. Anyway, how would you like to have a nice fluffy crepe? Since this is a crepe shop, it would be rude not to eat any, don't you think? Pick out five for me. Any five will do. I'm with Alf. I'd like the three berry ice cream special. Well, I guess it'll be a nice treat after dinner. I'll take one crepe with nuts and chocolate. Really? Before you came, I was only able to sell one crepe. Thank you so much. Where should I have them sent? The inn in our village entrance. I'll take one that's not too sweet. Ah! Uh... Oh, thank you, God of Crepes! I sold eight crepes at once! Now, if only that mean man would go away. Ah! <laughs> Isn't that nice? Oh, I... What's... <laughs> are you checking this out? Oh, dear. <laughs> what could this be? I have no idea what's written here. It says, opening sale. All items are 15% off. Really? 15% off? Wow! Now, what exactly does percent mean? It means the products are being sold at a cheaper price. I think our general store could learn a thing or two from them. That store has always been so stingy. That's unavoidable. It isn't an ordinary shop, after all. It also takes care of Bacula's financial affairs. Look at this! They don't have to write details like this! But they do! They do! They write details like this! Like... <laughs> they just throw them in there for the heck of it! But a shop can't make money if it sells goods at cheap prices. What am I saying? Of course the supermarket makes money. <laughs> Hello there, hot one, isn't it? Let's see, you've got four people, is that four high school? Yeah, no. Looks like this is the same. Fair Ina.
that strange building? <laughs> Uh, is all still dying? I assume so. Yeah. <laughs> Any tents? Any tents? Really is ten. Okay, we've spoken to really. Yeah, what's up, Auntie? Did you see that fanciful design used for the chief's tent? It's the latest craze in all the big cities, you know. I don't think so. Yuki, I feel like I've seen a tent like that somewhere before. Isn't that what's hip in the city? I was even thinking of redoing my own tent to spruce it up like that. I'd advise against it. Why would she have done such a thing to our traditional chief's tent? Is it some flamboyant way of expressing her ideas? To replace the old ways with new exciting trends? I doubt she meant any harm. But I really like the new Chief's Tent. Its colorful design is a big improvement from that drab old black tent. Yeah, but... okay. There's value to the traditions too though, y'all! Oh boy. Don't, uh, Alfina recognizes this. God, these designs are really... everywhere. Alfina recognizes it more or less from, uh, Sabotar, of course. These are all the same, yeah? Yep. Let's go speak with the, uh, Folks, now that we've spoken to Aurelia. Hi. Are you doing okay? We must teach our children to be steadfast and will, unchanged by even the mighty desert winds. Right, Donna? Yes. In order to one day go out on a holy mission for the future of our people. Yet the superficial trends brought in to, to us by Ruelia can be in no way good for the future of Bakula. I'm also wondering what Ruelia had in mind. Why would she decide to build a supermarket? We voted on it at the assembly, and maybe you should ask my wife about it. I'm trying to forget the whole thing. But that supermarket seems kind of fun, doesn't it? Why are you angry about it? Fun? Yes, it might be fun at first, but we can't spend our lives in search of personal pleasure. I have to do everything in my power to keep my daughter out of that supermarket. It's f for her own good. She must have gotten something from there. What could she have gotten? Excuse me, Donna? Have you had a chance to stop by the new supermarket? Have you gone in there? Me? Oh no, I won't go in. The people that run it kicked us out of our own tent. Actually, we voted on using the tent for a supermarket. I only voted because it sounded better than having a casino. Casino? Was really a thinking of putting one up here in the village? Isn't that outrageous? So instead of that, we all voted for a supermarket, and that was that. I'm feeling a little dizzy. Mighty Yod, thank you for steering my people away from a casino to a supermarket. Are you alright, Donna? It must be hard for you to face this after so your long journey. Get some sleep. <laughs> this tent is so crowded and everyone is so lively. Living together like this every day has made me start looking at these children as my own family. Okay, same as before. Blasted supermarket! It's only bringing people who are ignorant of our code here! Ah! My parents caught me taking out our ancient text! Dad's gonna scream at me! Donna, you've gotta help me! Ancient text? What were you doing with that? It melted. 
the ice I bought with money I got from selling our ancient text. What was that? Well, I mean, no one would ever even read that dusty old thing. They were talking, they were even talking about trashing it when we moved. Oh, I don't believe this. Go apologize right now and be honest with them. Just quietly pretend like you're listening to their lecture. That's how I managed to become a pilot. <laughs> Yuki, what kind of advice is that to give a child? Dad's gonna yell at me again. The ice I bought melted. Was that punishment from Yilt for breaking the village code? Oh, this sucks. Oof. I'm sorry. We'll have to check up with them after, uh, going to bed. I think that's everyone now. What happens if we try to go over there? I feel like I've seen this sign somewhere before. Hi, Donna. I'm glad you're back. Are you leaving already? But you just came back from a long journey. Why don't you take a day to rest up? Listen to the man, Yuki. I'm about to collapse with hunger. We need to rest up before searching for the Guardian. If you're looking for an inn, there's one right there. You'd best eat up, get a good night's rest, and head out tomorrow. <laughs> a statue of Yote. What happens if we approach this? Yuki, I could really use a meal. Now that we know where Seba is, let's take a little break, okay? <laughs> Oath is insistent. Does that mean that we wouldn't even get this chunk of the story if we stayed at Ruilia's? Which makes me wonder if you always come back here. I feel like that must be the case. I don't know. There's the end. There's tent one. Yep. Let's call it. Uh, check out the end. Oh, those lamp, little mini lamp posts. Cute. HP and MP fully restored. Nice. Oh boy. Hour and ten minutes just to check this place out. Bedroom. How many beds are in the bedroom? Four. Andy. <laughs> Next place has like none. Hello. <laughs> I knew you folks would be back. Can't get enough of our scrumptious kebabs. Hooked, are we? Well, I wouldn't say I'm hooked. My friend here is a hopeless addict. Right? What? You're the addict. <laughs> Admit it, Yuki. You're weak. Answer honestly. Or I'll bite you. Right? I'll never forget that flavor. <laughs> You're such a pig! Oh well, guess I might as well join you at the table. They're cute! <laughs> They're cute! Mmm, long time no eat, my wonderful, juicy, savory kebabs! It hasn't been that long. You act as if you reunited with your long-lost love. I know how you feel, buddy. Let's fill up on kebabs tonight to celebrate our meeting today. <laughs> the way Elf is eating those kebabs makes them look so delicious. I'm tempted to try some myself. Of course! They taste great! Dig in, Donna! No, my diet would be ruined. I can't give in to temptation. 
Is it just me or is something different about this village? I felt that way ever since we got back. The chief's tent looks really flamboyant now. I never knew really I was drawn to that kind of style. Those wild colors and designs look familiar to me somehow. Me too. I know I've seen those colors somewhere before. Oh, ha <laughs> These are so good! This place serves the best kebabs! If they had a shop in many, customers would line up longer than old Drax's tail can stretch! I just hope that Aurelia didn't decide on that awful looking... or awfully colorful looking thing out there. Now I remember! The Casino in Savitar! Where we had the match with Bianca! Yes! In that tent! Um, but how did you... That sign in front of the village entrance is the same one we saw in Savitar. So are you saying this Bianca came to be at Bacula? That couldn't be right. Or could it? Oh, <laughs> yeah. What type of person is Bianca? The two of you seem to know quite a bit about her. Well, how should I put it? <laughs> Why don't you explain, Alfina? Me? Well, she's really, uh... I know, she's very aggressive. Or maybe uh, expressive. She's not afraid to say what she steals. Uh, feels. <laughs> you have a nice way of making your insults seem like compliments, Alfina. Oh, it's not that I mean to speak badly about Bianca. <laughs> I'm sorry. You just have a charming innocence about you. Don't worry about it, Alfina. So Saba lives in Vegas jungle. I wonder what Rulia was doing there. Well, Rulia and I are complete opposites. We would constantly argue when we were younger. She'd always end up running away from home, but would usually come back right away. But that's how she got there. Sounds like a troublemaker. She said she heard the Guardian's voice. Could that mean Ruelia is another communicator? Absolutely not! That's about as likely as a well-mannered elf at the dinner table! What do you mean by that, babe? <laughs> she only heard a cry. No words. If Ruelia is a communicator, perhaps I'm a Guardian. <laughs> That's impossible. If you're not a communicator, a guardian just sounds like a normal animal, though, right? A well-mannered elf. <laughs> That's a funny thought. Hey, watch it, you two! Whew! <laughs> I'm stuffed! It's about time for bed. I'm gonna sleep like a log tonight. I'm not done, more kebabs! Yuki, don't be thinking you can outdo me, Markovobs! How could you have room for more after all you've eaten? I'm done. That was delicious. Let's head out first thing tomorrow. Don't be late. Finally, I can say my sister's done something constructive. All the way out to Vage's jungle. Is it far? Quite far. But I suppose an airplane could get us there quickly. Vage's jungle, huh? Say no more. I'll fly us there in no time at all. Good thing you know exactly where it is. You got a good map or something, bro. I'm so happy the nights are quiet again. When Bianca was here, they had wild parties in the chief's tent every night. Now that we know where to look, let's go to Vage's jungle.
Ta-da! I wanna go check out tent one and see what everyone's doing now. Oh yeah, things are different here. My daughter has been sneaking into that supermarket behind my back. I told her to never go in there. She's at such a curious age. I don't think you could have stopped her. More kind words. You're a very thoughtful woman, Donna. But don't spoil our daughter. We can't raise her like that. That daughter of mine, she sold our ancient text without our permission. And guess what she spent the money on? Ice! She spent that money on ice, and it already melted away. She's in for a three-hour scolding. Ice? That's definitely a rare find in the desert, but how could she trade an ancient text? She's in for a three-hour scolding. Her father is so stubborn. His lecture may go on longer than three hours, but never shorter. Oh, God. How foolish of her! My daughter has been buying useless junk from that outsider's market! By outsider's market, you must mean the supermarket, right? What's so bad about shopping? Those supermarket workers are the enemy! Selling junk to us is eroding our culture! But didn't you vote for the supermarket to be built here? Never mind that! So I voted for it, but it doesn't mean I wanted my daughter to shop there! Do you ever stop whining? I don't know what others think, but to me, those swindlers are the enemy! Evicting my family, cheating my daughter! Why are you looking down like that? Did you drop your lollipop or something? Grandpa and Dad were yelling at me. They told me I can't go to the supermarket or even leave the tent. This time I got twice the scolding. I hate everyone! I hate this tent! <laughs> Even so, in Bakula, you have to respect your elders and do what they say. Then I don't want to live in Bakula! All these rules, the code, and waiting around, it's all so boring! You sound a lot like I used to be. Now that I look back, I feel a little embarrassed. I don't care what they say. I'm gonna sneak out again and go to the supermarket. It's so fun in there. You know what? Hell yeah. Do it. I believe in you. Please don't die or get caught, but also, yes. Hell yes. Hell fucking yes. Even our granddaughter's been going in and out of that supermarket. Bagula is on its way to corruption. <laughs> Aren't you overreacting a little? I mean, all she did was go into a supermarket. <laughs> I don't expect a foreigner like you to understand. The people of the corridor have a heavy responsibility to uphold. Children become parents, and those parents teach their children to be selfish, and soon the entire village follows suit. I don't think it's... Everyone will have forgotten their missions! Too busy leaving living a life of pleasure? That is when our people will die. Blast it all! Where in the world is Yo trying to guide us? Are you praying, ma'am? Yes, Chief Donna. If we keep our faith, I just know the world will move forward in the right direction. You're right. Perhaps I'll offer a prayer before we go on our journey. Oh, mighty Yote, protector of the land, give us hope and guide us in the right direction. Lovely. This statue is so lifelike, I feel like it might start talking. <laughs> Hello there. Hi. Hello, Alfina. How are you feeling? <gasps> huh? I think it really talked. Uh, hello, Yot. Let's see. Are you there, Yot? 
I am here, Alvina. You must be more kind to Yuki. Treat him well. I advise you to learn how to cook as well. Huh? <laughs> Oops. Hi there. Yuki, what are you doing? I was really shocked, you know? I was really amazed. I thought this Yod statue was really talking to me. Uh, <laughs> They're just a bunch of friends. They're a bunch of friends. It only make me happy because they're a bunch of friends. Oh. Really is tense. Stop in. Hello. Never thought I'd see a supermarket in Bakula. Really, and that Bianca came up with some great ideas together. Bianca? I don't know if you can trust her. She might be cheating your people out of something. Like embezzling profits? Or running a ruthless business behind our backs? Well, I can't deny the possibility. Exactly. I mean, there's no way Bianca would come to back you out of mere kindness. But only a power-hungry scoundrel would be crazy enough to build a supermarket out in the desert. She's definitely got power. It's not good power. Well, at any rate, I hope this development gets back you in step with the rest of the world. Yeah, sure. It's fair. Dear God. <laughs> hey, that's not fair. That man is eating a crepe. But he lectured me for half a day about how evil they are. Evil crepes? What's the big deal about eating a crepe? What's the deal with grapes? When he saw me eating a crepe, he said he had to cleanse me of evil and force me to drink water from the oasis. Now he's eating a lot and it looks like he loves them. <laughs> At that rate, he can suck up the whole lake and still won't be cleansed. Ha, <laughs> you said it. I can eat a whole bunch of sweet, yummy crepes too. That sweet smell. I can't take it anymore. I've got to eat more crepes. Yo, does this mean the crepe business is in this- Why can't I rotate the camera? Give me a break. Well, uh... You're looking morose today, mister. You like those crepes? Oh god. It's good. It's absolutely delicious! So is this what a crepe is like? It reminds me of my childhood dreams. That man is eating a crepe and he's crying. Oh, people can be moved to tears by a taste they love. Alvina, please don't get all mushy about that. I was determined to shut down this wicked business, but I had to know the truth, so I decided to try one myself. I'm so glad. Crepes are really delicious, aren't they? Indeed. They melt in your mouth and make you a bit giddy. This taste should be cherished by all the world. But don't eat too many, okay? They are sweets, after all. Oh, mighty Yote, I thank you for the blessings of today, and I ask your forgiveness, for I have eaten a crepe. <laughs> He used to hate this place, but now he's eating six crepes. <laughs> that strange man is completely hooked. That man actually ate six crepes? Ha! <laughs> he's gonna get fat! That man was keeping watch for so long, making sure that no kids could come and eat here. I somewhat respect that. <laughs> but I'll bet he wanted to try some crepes the whole time. <laughs> Maybe you're right. I mean, the moment he took a bite, tears started welling up in his eyes. He must have been dying for crepes! I guess that takes care of your customer shortage. 
that man's tears have renewed my faith in the crepe business. I'm so glad I didn't give up to the hard times. Oh. Man, oh man, is this place hot! I imagine the lady must have left to get out of this sweltering heat. You're not from around here, I take it. I'm originally from the city where I own a liquor store. This aftermarket is patterned after my shop, you know. Lady Bianca and General Ruilia had big development plans for this place, and I went along with them. Who is this Lady Bianca you speak of? Lady Bianca? Formerly an aggressive industrialist, now working as a distinguished consultant. Woman of mystery! <laughs> Woman of mystery? Dirty cheat is more like it. Well, it's all quite a long story, really. But I feel we were destined to meet. We all feel that way here. <laughs> what do you think, Donna? Does this bracelet suit <laughs> me? Yes, it looks very nice. You buy it at the supermarket? Yes, those nice people are selling things I've never seen before. Our general store could learn a lot from them, you know. It looks like I won't be shopping at the general store anymore. This supermarket has much better values and service. <laughs> I don't think I went to the supermarket in the evening. Oh well. Thank you, <laughs> Goon A. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for shopping at Le Grand Mars Super Chevalier de Bianca. Hey, aren't you one of Bianca's goons? Pia no, no, I'm... I'm not a goon of any kind. The name's Jean Rial, general manager of this store. You don't have to hide it. I'm not gonna dig up any bitter moments from the past. And kill that phony accent. I thought maybe some sick, uh, some victim hired you to get revenge. I've been laying low, constantly running. So you are one of Bianca's. Have you been running since you lost to Alonzo? Yeah, and earning money on the side. Bianca's not one to lay down and die after taking a punch, you know? We've been opening casinos and running away from angry mobs who caught us cheating over and over. This time, Bianca got away again, but I decided to stay. I won't get into details now. Maybe some other time. Huh. Good for you. Also, this compass pattern is pretty cool. Welcome! Welcome! We're having an opening sale! How about a nice dress? Or some stylish pants? The clothes you're wearing look like sailor's clothes. Why is a sailor like you selling clothes out here in the desert? My buddies and I decided we'd try to make it big in this line of work. But you're right, I used to be a sailor. <laughs> We're all from different parts of the world. I was a drunken sailor and the deli worker was once a potato vendor. The music clerk was a poor wannabe rock star. He played guitar for cats then stole their cat food as ticket payment. It sounds like you all had hard lives before you came here. Well, that's all in the past. Before we met Lady Bianca and General Ruilia, that is. G General? Okay then, why don't you try on a few items? Don't be shy, it's our opening sale. Get them while they're cheap! Cool. See? Like, come on. It's good. So many wonderful t t necklaces here. The only necklace I have is a keepsake from my grandmother. Are you referring to the necklace you have on right now? I think it's wonderful. It must look so plain to people from outside our village. Everyone else in here is wearing such beautiful jewelry. But I think the necklace you have, a memory of your grandmother, is the best of all. That makes me so happy. Comparing my grandmother's to the r necklace to the rest of these, I suppose it's not so bad. Oh. Uh, at first I was tempted to buy one of these necklaces, but now I'd rather wear grandma's. Duh. 
Welcome to my delicatessen! Delicatessen? Is that what they're called? Oh god, I never even knew what deli stood for. <laughs> this curry is hotter than the hottest stretch of desert in this entire land. Is it super hot? If it's just medium hot, I'll be disappointed. Medium curry is no better than soggy rice on a plate. You're opinionated. <laughs> Try out Beauty Bianca's super gorgeous truffle caviar curry. It's hot enough to curl that bushy tail of yours. That combination sounds pretty bad. Hold on a second. Did you say Beauty Bianca? Yes, I did. Bianca put her heart and soul into this recipe. Take a bite and you'll get pumped and ready to fight. Bianca actually made curry? Oh, do you know Lady Bianca, kid? Well, you could say she took care of us once. So you really know her? That's amazing. She took great care of me, too, you know. Um. Yo, 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 yo. What's the big deal about a keyboard? It has nothing to do with our ceiling missions. Stop complaining and give it a chance! Don't knock until you've tried it, buddy! Are you saying I should play the keyboard? Ha! If I had that kind of free time, I'd be honing my sword skills for a mission! Yo, say it! Get rid of the sword and rock out, man! Love and peace is what it's all about! You're a rocker like me, right? I'm one of the people of the corridor. That's what is most important. What is a rocker? You don't know! A rocker is the ultimate seeker of freedom through killer music! No music, no life, baby! I'm not sure what he's talking about, but I'm impressed. Few people can stand up to say it. What's with this silly rocker mentality? Are all the foreigners like this shallow man? Put your soul into it, feel the groove, and tickle those keys. Just let your entire existence flow through the fingers. He's really excited. That's how you are when you talk about airplanes, Yuki. <laughs> What's that? Are you a rocker like me, dude? Party on till the break of dawn. Rock and roll forever, baby! Hey, rock and roll is what makes the world go round. Rock into the new generation, bringing good vibes to all. Alfina, I can't deny getting excited about flying, but I'd say I'm a lot different from this guy. No, you just like him. This hot desert is full of hot rockers, like this dude. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> oh, look at your kitchen. Why does this place have such delicious looking food? Don't you wonder about that, Donna? This is a kitchen for all Baculani families. Lovely. That's neat. Okay, we don't need to do anything here anymore. I think we've done it. Nice. Let's get safe and head on out. There's no arbitrary thing that will change what happens at the statue, is there? <laughs> and this guy is still saving, right? Gnoosh! I went to look at guitars at the music shop, and the clerk asked me to join his band. He also said, Yeah! Killer baby! Rocking it all night long! But what is a band, exactly? It's a group of people that get together and make music. 
Now if you're interested in the guitar, maybe you should join it. A band, huh? Now that I think about it, that music clerk was asking Sayed to join too. He said, you on guitar, say it on the organ, and me as the drummer slash producer. That sounds so fun. But what type of instrument is a slash producer? I don't know. Maybe like a flute or something? His hands would be occupied with the drums. The guitar, an organ, drums, and a slash producer? Oh yeah, this is starting to sound like a sweet band. Hell yeah. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> You're gonna learn a lot about music too, obviously. That's the whole point. Oh, that's cute. Lovely. <laughs> okay, this place is cool. That was fun. The lady's name is Bianca. Isn't she pretty? I wish I could have met her when she was here. I don't think you'll ever meet a lady who looks like this. But did you happen to see a woman who looks like a hippo? You dick. Yeah, I sure did. She was always so sweaty and was gulping down water from our oasis like an animal. In that regard, this game's representation absolutely is shit. I met a hippo-looking lady, but she wasn't the pretty lady on this sign. This is Bianca. I hate to tell you this, kid, but... This lady is too pretty to be from Bacula. She makes my heart flutter. I think I'm in love. Um... But Bianca's all women. I don't think she'd ever be interested in a kid like me. Actually, she... Ah, forget it. Enjoy the fantasy while it lasts, kid. What a knockout. <sighs> I wish I could have been here, seen Bianca when she was here, even if just for a moment. It's Bianca. What in the world was she doing in a place like Bacula? Oh boy. The statue of Yod. Here it goes! Playtime, hour and forty. Cool. Phagius is a large jungle just south of the Bacularan Desert. You'd better find a place to land in advance. Yeehaw. Here goes. A, va a dense subtropical jungle? It is said that vast ruins lie somewhere deep inside. Whoa! What the heck is that? There's a giant whale floating in the sky! Don't you know? That's one of the Sky Spirits! Sky Spirits? There are lots of stories about them. Some say they're giant balloons, whale-shaped islands, or cloud-eating monsters. Well, which is it? What's it like to be in the sky all the time? It's like a dream to fly like this. My body floating on the wind. Wanna try flying with me? Sure, let me show you my moves! Ah, that wind feels good. Nice and warm. Warm. <sighs> Hey, are you asleep? <laughs> Maybe I went too far. 
Better turn back towards Rage's jungle. How long have you been flying up here, Mr. Whale? And is there anything beyond the sky? I've been flying for quite a long time, but there's really nothing up here. Just white clouds, the sun, and the wind. It all seems so unreal. Perhaps this is all a dream, and I'm just an illusion. What? Do you really think so? <laughs> just kidding. Look at the sun and feel the wind caressing your body. It's no illusion. Duh. <laughs> How nice. Bacula Settlement. Tents of various sizes cluster around an oasis to form the Bacula Settlement. You can see a cute little model of it from up here. The secret of mana egg fusion has been passed down through the generations here, and is sought after by all magic users. Look at that flippin' perspective. That's so cool. Samaram Island. This island's unique land formations made it perfect for flying contests and also gave rise to legends about Schmidt. Recent seismic activity has caused the island to become unstable, making such contests impossible. Looks like a cool place, though. Too bad they didn't get time to implement it. Look at those... ...bridges and stuff. Maybe they left it intentionally. Okay, that looks cool. Anyone in the sky or on the ground, please listen to me! My hometown is gone. I tried landing by my village and everyone there had turned into glass. I'm the only one left. I'm sorry. I guess I should be grateful to be alive, but I just had to tell somebody. Oof. That's so good. Petroglyph. This mysterious bird drawing. Bird shape drawing was made thousands of years ago and covers many miles of ground. See those markings on the ground? Although it is not known who drew it or for what purpose, it has long been a favorite among pilots who view it from the air. There's a delta there. Bacula Ruins. 
These ancient ruins, surrounded by the desert and mountains, were originally built as a home for the Guardian Yacht. It is said that figures carved on the walls of the ruins will come to life in order to protect you from intruders. It's true. Can you see a model of the place there? It's cute. What about back there? Sand Valley. The sand that flows like a waterfall from cracks in these rugged mountains stuns all who see it. These descriptions would fit super well on the wiki, oh my god. It is said that over countless eons, the sand from this valley formed the Bacularan Desert. Look at that overview pass. This is so cool. Can anybody hear me? My engine just burst into flames! Mayday! Mayday! Oh god. What? Are you okay? Where are you? I'm losing altitude due to engine trouble! Repeat, I need help! It's no good. He can't hear us. I hope he'll be okay. Hello? Hello? Can anyone hear me? Out there? My name's Delta. I'm a nine-year-old boy who loves ham radio. Oh hell yes. I saw an amazing plane a little while ago. It was all red like a fireball, and it was going amazingly fast. Oh. I guess it was one of those famous Schmidt planes I have heard about. I'd love to ride in one of those. This is cute. Well, that's all for today. Goodbye. Yeah, yeah. I hear you. I promise. I've always been kind of weak, so I can't go out and play with the other kids. I guess that's why I like the idea of flying up in the sky so much. Just like you pilots. Does Delta live on a volcano? <laughs> well, that's all for today. Goodbye. Oof. <laughs> Delta's reception really does come in right there. I wonder if there are specific things that make some things have a tighter radius than others. I had a dream last night. I had wings just like an angel and I could fly with the birds. The view from the sky was just amazing. I couldn't believe how big the world was. Well, that's all for today. Goodbye. Is that the... What do we call it again? Yes. Um, hello? Is this thing on? <clears throat> I have a special message for any pilots listening. The old Beauty Bianca is under new management. The Money Casino was having its grand opening. Huh? Well, let's make that our first stop then. Not that I want to buy anything, but cool. We're open 24 hours a day by Sabotar Harbor. Please stop in and see us. Yeah, sure. What's this? Like massive pillars right there. Mm. What? 
So we have the settlement, and then... Bacular Desert, a massive desert situated in the center of the mainland. Uh, this was once a fertile plain inhabited by nomadic tribes. However, in recent years, its transformation into a desert has become more rapid, and its size has also increased. We still get control over the plane while it's not looking at us. Dragon Valley, a deep valley surrounded by high cliffs. If someone were to fall inside, he would never be able to climb back out. Yikes. Hello. But anyone making it through this trackless path would be rewarded by a breathtaking view of natural splendor. It's stormy right now, though. Actually, it's not stormy at all. That place is green. Can we dock there? Or is that just another place that could be highlighted? Wild. Dragon Valley! There's no reason to come back here, but... Yep. You can. This freshwater lake is surrounded by steep mountains and is known for its beautiful water. Clearly. It is still home to a great many types of animal life, and the master of the lake can often be seen swimming in its waters. Wild. Oh dear, it looks stormy. Oh god. Let's be careful. Dono Island, an uninhabited island out in the middle of the sea. Perhaps because it is so isolated, it is home to many unique monsters. One of these, the Boat Swallows, so named because of their tendency to attack boats, are natural enemies of sailors. It's sunny today. I guess that means you owe me a seven-course meal! Aw, oh, man. But the girl on the weather report said it was gonna rain! Ooh, flapping volcano? Don't shoot me. What the fuck? No, that hurts. Don't do that. Ouch. Mandy! I don't actually know what's going on here. Like, what'll happen if we come back here now? I think we can help Otto out with one mystery. Hey guys, y'all, it looks real quiet here out and down. Jeez. I wonder where that page from the storyteller's frog print story disappeared to. I illustrated it, you know. Were you here when the page disappeared? I was here drawing, as always. The only people around were the usual kids. You don't suppose. And... Hello. Welcome! It's so nice to see you, Alfina. Now that you're here, why don't you stay for dinner? We can do that! 
here? We could stay at many and talk at this point in the story. Arbitrary. Hell yeah. Make some buns. Come on. Meat! Vegetable spread! Wow! Everything looks great! Now this is what a real meal should look like! It's so zoomed in! Yuki, wasn't that flock of migratory birds we saw just amazing? Oh, you mean the one that fl the one that flew next to the plane? There sure were a lot of them all flying together. They almost didn't seem like a flock of individual birds. It was like they were all moving as one. They were quite a sight flying with the setting sun behind them. I wonder where those birds were headed. Now this time of year, they're busy flying south, looking for sources of food! They're struggling just to survive! But how do they know which way is south? Easy! In the daytime, they use the sun, and at night, they use the stars! Wow! So the entire world is like a compass for them! Flying by the stars? That's kind of romantic. Maybe, but for them, it's a matter of life and death. If they don't fly south, they'll run out of food and starve to death. Starve to death? They may look small, but they can really eat. They'll eat more than a hundred insects in a single day. Wow, they eat almost as much as you, Ulf. Yep, that's why they have to go someplace with a lot of food or they'll starve. You seem to know a lot about migratory birds, Ulf. They have a lot of nests in Dragon Valley. If you watch them long enough, you learn a lot about them. Have you seen any of their chicks? Sure! They're always in their nest, chirping away for their mommies and daddies to bring them food. <laughs> Those little chicks must be so cute. I wish I could see some. That reminds me. It was about this time of year that I first met Cheapster. <laughs> Cheapster? A long time ago, there was this baby chick that fell out of his nest. I named him Cheapster. He fell out of his nest? I'm reading. What's up? We have gifts, I guess. Okay. So come. I'm recording. can't touch it. What if it is COVID? Ah! I got to move my towel that way. <laughs> he fell out of his nest? What happened to Cheapster, Alf? Well... Oh, that looks delicious! Just wait a minute! I read that... I read that 80% of bird hatchlings get eaten by predators or die of starvation before they can grow up. What? Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> and there are lots of snakes in Dragon Valley, too. A little chick who can fly would make a perfect meal for him. Oh, you didn't help him? I have to take this one back and give you this one. Do you rather dark chocolate or light chocolate? Uh, I enjoy both. Okay. If it's dark chocolate, I'll be cool with that. Mom would rather light chocolate. Okay, that's cool with me. What if this one's COVID do? <laughs> it's a cute little chocolate Easter Bunny egg. It's actually not cute little at all. I mean, it is cute, but it is very large. Like, I don't know, four inches tall, maybe three inches tall, I guess. A couple inches diameter. And there's a neat sort of dragon egg pattern on the side, if you ask me. Oh, you didn't help him. Helping Cheapster would have meant killing all the snakes that feed on little birds like him, so I didn't help him. No! Cheapster hopped around for the valley for three days, hiding from the snakes, but finally a big snake had him cornered. He was at the edge of a cliff. There was no place to run, but then, then a miracle happened. A miracle? Cheapster got ready and jumped right off the cliff. And when you know it, he started flying. That's quite a first flight. Aww. Now Chiefster's all grown up and even has little chicks of his own. 
He comes back to the valley every year. Whew. That's a relief. Don't get mad, Elf, but I thought for sure he... <laughs> you seem so worried that I thought I'd have a little fun with you. <laughs> You're so mean. We have to protect the sky for all the little teachers in the world. Well, shall we be going? Wait. Wait a minute. Just one more steak? Okay, okay. Just remember to chew, okay, Elf? I wonder if little Cheapster is still alive somewhere, flying, making a family. You can bet on it. That was no ordinary bird. He'll live to a ripe old age, believe me. Cheapster should be returning to the valley pretty soon. I hope he's okay. All of those birds were trying their hardest to survive. Yes, this is an amazing world, isn't it? I was really worried, too. But I'm glad the Cheapster's okay. Alright, we're off to Vegas Jungle! <laughs> you don't suppose we'll meet Cheapster and his family on the way, do you? Ah! It's cute. It is cute. It is just objectively cute. Yes. Who's there? Is it room service? Uh, no, I, I'm sorry. Never mind. Okay, you're a strained one, aren't you? <laughs> you should knock unless you've got a reason, Yuki. No, I'd better not knock. Somebody else is staying in the room that Alfina was using before. And they're strange that way. <laughs> Lots of people have stayed in this room. Alfina was just one of them. Oh. <laughs> Kitchen. Baking bread was fun. Next time, I'd like to try making some animal-shaped breads like they have in the stores! Uh. Staff! A piano. Looks neat. Hi! There's not an idea in sight. I just can't find my motivation. I've dulled her day after day of her teen existence. Yuki, why don't we tell this guy about the verse realm? He might get inspired. The verse realm? What's that? Another name for the unconscious mind? Or is it some new religious cult? It's a whole other world, and we've actually been there. Just listen. Yes, I see. First fears, Harazel. Sermania Zero, you say? A world made of glass? <laughs> you think I'm going to believe a fairy tale like that? But the absurdity of it all did cheer me up a bit. <laughs> I'd better get back to work. I can't lose to trash like that adventure novel you described. <laughs> okay. If that gets you oomphed up, hell yeah. Welcome, it's so nice to see you, Alfina. No, we just ate. It would be the same thing. Oh, you're busy? Well, I suppose it can't be helped, but I expect you to stay for dinner next time. How cute. Like, it is entirely optional. 100% to go to Mendy. To go to Mendy. To stay at the inn there. What is incredibly mind-blowing about this game to me is how detailed the world is and how much it changes, how the story changes and how the characters grow and how we keep learning more about them when we go back to explore. 
And it's not something you have to do. It's entirely optional. All the town folks, their dialogue changing each day. It's entirely optional. You can blast through the game pretty darn quickly. But if you want to, you can... And, like, it's still a fun game. But if you want, there's so much story and history and world to learn about. If you just have a look at it all, and it is, like, so cool. <laughs> I like this game a lot. I don't know if that sort of comes as, as a surprise. But yeah, it's, uh... It's up there. <laughs> 36 hours? Okay, cool. Stop now, Michelle. See us. 